Digital inclusion is economic inclusion. In 2015, the Federal Reserve Bank of Dallas compiled a report that showed the Rio Grande Valley had the greatest digital divide in the nation. The City of Far's solution to closing the digital divide. The City of Far's response to that report was the formation of an innovative, first-of-its-kind solution in the RGV, a solution that would make sure every child and household has an equal starting point when it comes to access to broadband services within the FAR city limits. The project's name was FAR LifeNet. Everybody in the city of FAR should have the exact same opportunity, no matter what. And the, the best way to achieve that is to give you a direct line to your home with fiber optic broadband to achieve that goal. If we truly are one city, north, south, east, west, regardless of social economic class, then we're gonna act that way. We're gonna give you the tools to succeed, give you the tools for you to learn the same way, give you the tools to prosper and stay healthy and help public safety take care of you as well. The city of FAR, working with the Federal Reserve Bank of Dallas and the PSJA School District, was able to secure $100,000 in funding from the BBVA grant to pursue the creation of a feasibility study to outline the workability of delivering broadband to the area. A year later, the City of FAR invested $90,000 in equipment and external home devices to create a pilot program to connect 50 FAR families in the South FAR area with broadband internet access in their homes. I know our pilot study showed that it impacted um, students' productivity in terms of their schoolwork, and the whole family learned from it, putting them as advanced as possible in terms of their learning and their studies, and then preparing them for life after high school, uh, college, the world of work, and so forth. The creation of FAR LifeNet was a collaborative effort involving the City of FAR, the Federal Reserve Bank of Dallas, PSJA School District, Region 1, BBVA, and Frontera Communications. It's a great model about uh, people coming together, uh, nonprofit world, business world, uh, the mayor, other leadership, school leadership, uh, collaboratively, and it takes that for this type of project to be possible. So this is a great leadership story, and I think a great model for cities throughout the United States. Through the FAR Life Net project, participating families and students were granted broadband internet access, and more importantly, the necessary access for virtual learning, virtual work, telemedicine, and building blocks for financial literacy. You cannot be in a home where, number one, there is no service. Number two, even if you have service, you don't have a hotspot or it can't handle the uploads or download of multiple children at the same time, let alone the parent as well. So a better way of doing it is bringing the broadband to you, the fiber optic cable, so you can have your unique in-house Wi-Fi service that only you can use. Your signal will not degrade. It is yours. It is your private Wi-Fi. Beginning in March 2020, the world was forced to transition to virtual learning, telemedicine, and virtual work due to the COVID-19 global pandemic. The city of FAR was no different, but with a major disadvantage. According to the National Digital Inclusion Alliance, FAR was still the most digitally disconnected city in the country. The digital divide became an immediate and apparent problem as many households were without access to the internet. As COVID-19 was unfolding, FAR's years of hard work were still facing many layers of regulations governing the distribution of broadband signals and the need for significant funding. Mayor Hernandez immediately contacted the South Texas Congressional Delegation, stressing the need for an emergency waiver through USDA Rural Development to address funding for broadband internet. And after many years and many doors, the reality of the FAR LifeNet project has come to fruition. The south side of FAR is where we're gonna start and go north. As we lay down the fiber, we're gonna connect you to it right away. You're not gonna wait a year to start service. And in a 13 month period, the entire city should be covered. In our world today, we rely heavily on internet access for essential parts of our lives. And in the midst of a lengthy, life-threatening pandemic, we need internet access even more than ever before with things like virtual learning, telemedicine, banking, and work. The internet has become the lifeline of stability during a very uncertain time. For the city of FAR, 
the long-term goal is to provide a solution that is effective and affordable even after the pandemic. A solution that cannot be taken away from future generations. For far too long, the city of Far has always been deemed a second-rate city. That has come to an end. We have shown our residents that we're serious about infrastructure, we're serious about economic development, and we're serious about your health. Here again, we're showing you, not just saying it, we're showing you it's going to get done, there's a timetable to it, there's money attached to it, you're going to get exactly what you deserve, which is the best service money can buy, because that's what you deserve in the city of FAR. The FAR LifeNet Project, connecting all of FAR with the world.